ago, I was in my mid 20s, I'm giving away my age, and I bunked work for four days in a row. I called in sick, I paid a doctor for a sick note, I wasn't really sick. On another occasion, I lied about a death in the family to get off work. Has any, anybody ever been there? Has anybody ever hated their job so much they would rather lie about death in the family than go into work? Yeah? So that's where I was four years ago. I was, it was a really, really tough time in my life. I had the worst boss in the world, literally. She was controlling, she was belittling, she was aggressive. I worked in an office where cell phones were confiscated on arrival, where if you got up to go and make yourself a cup of tea or coffee and it wasn't the designated time to have your tea or coffee, you would get in trouble. That's how bad it was. Where verbal abuse was the norm, where you would literally go into work and rather throw the guy next to you under the bus for something he did just to avoid being in the line of fire of this horrible boss. That's how much it sucked. And so as a result of that, that's exactly what everyone did. There was no team. There was no, we in this together. Everybody was just underhanded and backstabbing because they were, they were in survival mode. I was in survival mode. And the thing is that we spend more than 70% of our time at work. So how sad is it that you can spend some time at work, that much time at work, and hate being there? Literally feel sick. one role as a leader is to make people feel safe. That's the number one role. When we feel safe, we flourish. When I was at the horrible place, I didn't feel safe. Nobody felt safe. And so the whole thing fell apart. In animalistic caveman terms, um, we see dangers as, you know, being hunted and animals on the outside coming to, to get you. And in those times, we formed tribes, we formed communities, so that there was safety in numbers. So in today's world, we speak about those outside dangers in the business world as perhaps competition or um, horrible clients or um, the economy. So those could be the, the dangers that we have today. And if we can look at those outside dangers as a, as a business and form a community within that business to work, to work against or to overcome those, those challenges and those dangers, that's when you find that your team can flourish. So safety is critical. But my message today is that leadership is not a rank. It's not who's on top. Leadership is a choice. If you choose to keep the person to the right of you and to the left of you safe, you're a leader. So let's also create a whole lot of oxytocin instead of a whole lot of cortisol. Thanks, guys. Yeah.